perform the appropriate incision over the proximal interphalangeal joint. Retract the soft tissues surrounding the PIP joint, thereby fully exposing the joint so that it may be resected. This technique will utilize cup and cone reamers to maximize bony contact surface area. Using the proximal phalanx, or cup, reamer, ream the proximal phalanx until the desired resection is achieved. Then, ream the middle phalanx using the middle phalanx, or cone, reamer. Insert the supplied 1.1 mm K-wire central to the long axis of the proximal phalanx. The K-wire may also be introduced at a 10-degree angle if plantar flexion of the toe implant is desired. Advance the supplied cannulated drill bit over the K-wire into the proximal phalanx until the laser mark line has reached the reamed surface. Remove the drill bit and K-wire from the proximal phalanx. Advance the same supplied K-wire central to the long axis of the middle phalanx. Using firm axial pressure, advance the supplied tap over the K-wire into the middle phalanx until the laser mark line has reached the reamed surface. Thread the cannulated implant over the K-wire and screw into the middle phalanx up to the laser marking line on the implant. Ensure that a laser mark line on the driver is facing dorsal. Remove the driver and K-wire. Reduce and press fit the implant into the proximal phalanx until the reamed phalanxes are opposed. Ensure that all three barbs of the proximal implant are inserted into the proximal phalanx. Close using standard surgical procedure. TOTAC is a cannulated implant that allows for the supplied K-wire to be retrograded proximally into the metatarsal to stabilize the DIP and MTP joint. Utilizing the K-wire to stabilize the DIP and MTP joint is optional and remains solely at the surgeon's discretion. Using a small power saw, cut the implant in half at the osteotomy site. Attach the removal tool to a standard AO Quick Connect driver handle. Advance the tool into the distal portion of the implant using a counterclockwise rotation to engage the reverse threads. Continue rotating until the implant is removed. Remove the proximal portion of the implant with the same technique. 